everybody. Today we are going to focus on upper body meridians and um, these meridians are all uh, connected to our limbs uh, on, on the upper body, so the fingers, wrists and forearms and arms into the chest and intestine. Uh, so all the exercises we are going to do, we are going to try to kind of connect with these meridians and we stretch and then just see how if you can get in deeper into the meditation. So just to make you feel more comfortable, you get all the props you want to help you need. So don't be afraid of using them. And I also like using aromatherapy oils just to relax my mind and enjoy my stretches and meditation a little bit more. So if you happen to have any oils, you can just warm them up in your hands and just place them under your chin so it's not close to the eyes in front of your face under the nostrils there if you rub, rub your nose so you can really smell all the way to this uh, session today and around the forehead here just quickly gonna leave them there I want to stretch your fingers first so what we want to do is just grab the fingers I got some oil on it already and you're seeing me sitting onto my ankles if you can't sit like this you can sit any other way cushion your body then I'm just gonna go grab my fingers so my right hand is grabbing my left and I'm gonna rub my thumb and go around it and then the index finger going up and down. I think I shown it and then just squeezing and twisting without hurting myself so much. Same on the other finger. And then I'm gonna go squeeze. Oh, this is so nice. Right arm strong, so it's just really we can squeeze the left easily. We're gonna have to do the other side as well. It might crack, just don't be afraid of cracking your fingers. And arrive here. You wanna feel good and relax. So I'm just going to the knuckles, rub your hands here now. And then we start on the other finger. So you're gonna use the left hand to stretch the left right thumb. And the index finger the same up pressure, rub, squeeze. You might feel tension already releasing from your body, but just good, let it go, just breathe. And then the two fingers, don't forget. And then we go on to the knuckles. This is so nice. And to the palms, we can now go on to the forearm. Just I'm gonna squeeze and release, squeeze and release, and the other side, squeeze and release. You'll be surprised how much tension you uh, collect here because the contensors, uh, the muscles here, just flex your fingers and there. So you just feel your fingers move when you push. Do you see how you can feel that? So there's a lot of tendons to make your fingers function. We use our hands all day long, so it's only natural that you feel tense here. So rub your forearm. These are the easier massages that you can do this. You can do this every time you want. And here we go, the other side again. If you go down. can feel tons of tension release to the shoulders as well. You can see those muscles connect with the shoulders. Alright, we're gonna grab the elbows here and just try to squeeze both hands. And change the arm on top and then do the other side. Just relaxing the hands for now. 
Then we're just going to go on to the position of the wide legged um, child's pose first. This is going to set us up for our meditation. So because I want my knees wider than my mat, so I'm going to cushion it like this. You can also do this. You might not be opening as wide as me. And um, you might want cushion on under your face also. Let's see how you feel. And you're just going to relax and rest. So I'm sitting back as far back as I can before we go to mountain pose. We just relax and breathe. Just breathe there. This is just too intense. I'm just going to change your playlist. Set yourself up. And relax and arrive in your pose. So you're breathing in. Breathing out. So you want to make your arms comfortable, your neck comfortable, your shoulders comfortable. You want to cushion your knees, cushion your knees. So as soon as we get here, all the massaging you've done with your hands and fingers, you can feel more tension drain into the floor, hopefully. And take a couple of sighing breaths. Relaxing, calming, breathing. And start noticing how your body is feeling today. And start the conversation. To see whether you can let go a little bit more. We are going to try to open the arms and shoulders and the chest and the heart. See what kind of emotions you're feeling right now without judging the body, without judging the mind. We are all human. We have emotions. Some of them are good and positive. Some of them are not. So, I want you to figure out what you're feeling. And why you're feeling this way. So you can make changes to adjust your emotions. Like you adjust the lights with the dimmer switch. Sometimes you need it bright, sometimes you don't. You, sometimes you don't need light at all. So you need to know what emotions you need at what stages and what you don't need. And what you must control a little bit more, what you must not. So let's have a conversation with ourselves. I don't know you that well, you don't talk about your emotions, you're just strangers. Sometimes you block them out so much that you don't even know you're behaving funny because you're just blocking your energy and your feelings. You have to remember, you must let your feelings be heard, otherwise you just start getting imbalances in the body, blockages, emotional blockages. You start making yourself sick. So let's find out what we are feeling first. Then we can decide how, what we need to do to make a positive impact in our life. So if you had your face on one side, you can turn it on the other side. You're feeling the hips here also, so it's more the lower body meridians will be affected. But we're trying to stress the shoulders and the chest. We are going to move into mountain heart in a minute. So this is like a warm up for that. And I want you to bring your hands back towards the body. And just lift up slowly. Bring your knees a little bit more in. Just sit on the normal child's pose so your body is relaxing a little bit more in this balasana pose. You might find this is easier. Remember the cushions are there for you to sit on if you need to. If you need, uh, need extra cushioning, you must go get them. Now I'm going to start with my mountain heart. But 
making sure I got support here through my chest. So you might want to do the same or you might not need it. So help you clean it. Now you're just going to blow the chest and chest. And your knees and your hips are lined up. If you got too much pressure here through the hips, you can actually adjust in a different way. Just you can go into forehead instead of the chest. Do you see? So find a position where you can stay. This is quite challenging. So if you need to extend the knees back, you need to adjust the arms back in a different way. You can do it. If you, anytime you need to move, you're allowed to move. So don't hold in a position where you're feeling your back hurting you. So you just want to be opening space. So if you decide to be on the forehead, I find that this is going to be easier for me, so I'm going to stay here so I can keep my speech clear. So my forearms, my forehead, on the floor. My shoulders, I try to relax. And I'm breathing. And I know that I'm breathing and everything else can take second place right now. And we were talking about the emotions you might be feeling here. See what kind of emotions come through here. Tight shoulders, your arms, tight fingers, tight wrists. It can affect your chest muscles and that can affect your mind. See what kind of emotions you're running through body. And first we observe and we try to understand. We don't judge. And then we can start speaking the truth of our emotions. What is really causing this emotion? If you're upset, sad, you're dealing with the grief, or you're just dealing heartbroken, or you just feel no emotion at all, feel depressed, whatever you might be feeling here, you're just trying to understand it first. Then you can start opening your heart. You let the emotion pour out. Visualize yourself talking to a very good friend and then hugging you and helping you. And you're feeling supported through it, not judged. So you feel your heart. Totally letting go. So deeper and deeper you breathe here. And you can sigh this tension out. The easier it's going to become to deal with emotions. You might be trying to get rid of the negative emotions. And maybe try to find some positive ones to replace the negative. So if you're uh, suffering from grief, you can try to fill it and change it with understanding or compassion. If you feel lack of love, you can just try to call, replace it with love for thyself. And if you're sad, you want to replace it with joy. And just sit back again slowly, just taking the pressure off your arms. And then relax back here. So if you can't sit on your legs anymore, you might want to bring the legs forward and just rest that way. But I just want to relax now. That was quite challenging for me on my shoulders. I felt quite a lot of tension and tensions and needles in my arms. So you might just be, be feeling the same. Just let it pass through. And 
gently I'm going to love on myself to do it daily you can actually make it more comfortable by adding blankets under you and in the sphinx pose if you want more support you can bring a cushion like me under your chest bone not in your stomach where the food goes but the chest bone can have some cushioning so it's easier to come up here so i just have it there but i might not use it all the time you can get a bigger cushion if you want I'm just gonna get the elbows here. Make sure your back is loose, shoulders back and down and you're breathing and you're looking forward. Again, talking about upper body meridians, you might feel really exhausted already with the arms after the stretch we've been through and with the massages and everything we've done. So we've connected with all the meridians that start from the hand, go through the forearm and up and connecting with the heart and through cardio, your lungs, your intestines, large intestine and small intestine. So you might feel a lot of pain in the arm already. Just want you to persevere and breathe. So we can let go of the shoulders. We're arriving in the pose, recognizing the blockages and walls you're hitting. But you just need to persevere and try to stay here. If your lower back is hurting you, you can bring the elbows more forwards. Okay, just make, make sure the back doesn't struggle. So you can pull the shoulders back, forearm down, and feel the meridians in the front of the body at ease. You may choose to close your eyes. Let's see how you feel. The gravity is constantly pulling us down. We have to resist it. And then sometimes holding the position long is the biggest challenge. It's keeping your focus here and the mental focus is hard. But this is why we meditate. So we can keep our mental focus. It's very useful to have the power to control the mind because our minds control us all the time because our subconscious is responsible for a lot of our behavior. So what if we can start tapping into that and actually change some bad behavior habits? Wouldn't that be good? So just think about what you may achieve by doing meditation. So even if when your mind is saying to stop, it's too hard, just overcome that feeling and then challenge the mind. Why? Why should I stop? Why are you telling me that to stop? Because sometimes our minds are biggest enemy. They stop you or they just keep bothering you with the wrong ideas and thoughts and feelings. So let's try to go opposite to what you want to do. You want to stop. So what about you just say, okay, I'm not going to stop. What do you feel then? Does the pain stop when you insist or does it get worse so you're not willing really so you need to convince the mind your will has to be strong your breathing needs deeper so if you feel like you turned a corner and you're in more control and you're ready to push onto the hands you can finish the last minute here, but if you feel you're not ready to come there, just stay on the forearm. As I said, there's no right or wrong, there's no judgment. You just do what you can do now, and you just start questioning why you're crushing, why you don't want to do anymore. Just all of this is our meditation now. Our minds and bodies are connected. Our will is strong in our subconscious. So it's very difficult to overcome our condition.
position. But if you really want to make the change, and if you want to change the conversation, you have to persevere. Gently relax. Yeah. That was rather good. So I want you to just tuck the arms and turn the neck the wrong direction and just relax on your belly. As soon as you rest the arms in your chest, you feel a lot of emotional stress disappearing. Do you feel your intestine relaxing? Your chest relaxing, your heart relaxing, your lungs are relaxing, you are having a rebound from the position you were in, now take the neck the other side, again just constantly trying to relax, See if your mind is kind of starting to relax more, rebounding from the pose. Feel all the tingling sensation from the forearms and the hands. And all the stress from the chest disappear onto the floor. Now we are going to lift again. Uh, we've done quite a lot sitting uh, on the front of the body, so I'm just going to finish the session lying on our backs. You might have a bolster, or you uh, you might want to use, or you make a makeshift bolster for yourselves and by cushioning yourselves. So I'm just going to lie down here and hang my head and my shoulders and chest at the other end. So make sure you are comfortable. If it doesn't work, you can come out and just reset it. So I'm just trying to go hang that way, do you see? So in this position, it's like the fish position, but it's much, much gentler than that. And I'm gonna take my arms up. We are talking about stretching the chest and the heart and the upper body meridians and the fingers and the forearms, remember. So here in this position, I still feel them stretch, but it's a little bit more gentler than before. So, you can bend your knees into the star pose. Also, this is good for your stomach meridian. It's just going to help you a little bit more. Or you can stretch the legs or cushion your knees. Under the knees, you can put cushions. So, just arrive here. You've done a lot with your full body, so you might feel exhausted or your emotions are too wild and you can't tame them. So just be silent for them. Just do nothing. Think nothing. Feel nothing. You might find this is impossible to do because our minds are always active with these thoughts. Our hearts are always in, in emotion. Our hands are always busy. So we want to slow down and just stop this conversation. If your arms are really feeling heavy, you can adjust them up or down. You can rock your hips if you need to. And try to stop the fidgeting and be still. Feeling the heart open. We want to feel the heart shape disappear. 
We want to feel sadness for it. We don't want to feel depressed. We don't want to feel angry. We want to feel joy, happiness, compassion. These are the feelings we want to achieve. Even if you're not feeling them, I want you to stop thinking them. Just think how hard you're working day in, day out. There's no wonder we get stressed. No wonder we feel lack of joy. No wonder we feel depressed at times. This is all normal. Just stop judging yourself and just say, okay, that, that. It's enough now. Don't worry anymore. Just feel the beat of your heart. Just feel the breath pulling you in and out. Just start thinking how wonderful you are. How wonderful your body is. How wonderful taking a bath and it's fresh and it's filling you. Giving you the energy you need. How wonderful your heart is your blood and the vessels, circulatory system in the body is all busying up every heartbeat traveling to all of the body to take the oxygen through the blood and clean the carbon dioxide from it. This all this tingling sensation visualize the blood going pumping through your veins start understanding the anatomy of the body and the physiology of our systems then you can really be compassionate towards yourself how hard you have to work to be alive this is why the emotions can get out of hand time to time and we can feel out of balance That's not the problem at all now. You understand, you accept. And you don't judge. And you keep repeating the wonders of life. How wonderful you are will get less judgmental, less stress, less depressed. Instead you feel the blood is pressure, your oxygen is there feeding you. You're totally able to absorb it. Your power to absorb oxygen makes you happier everything starts getting in balance now. Then you feel no need to breathe heavier, no need to eat a lot, no need for anything. You start feeling the joy of life because then you start realizing how much you have already. You have your arms, you have your legs, you have your organs, you have your senses, your emotions, all wonderful. They are not something to be ashamed of or run away from or shy away from. You have to embrace who you are, fully. Every inch of you, every state of you. From day to night, start 
your life. Male, female, all opposing effects of our balance. They all have a place in our lives. So please don't be afraid of feeling the thing. Don't be afraid of the God. Don't be afraid of the emotion. Now I want you to start moving your arms into your baby pose. My arms are feeling really heavy, so I'm just going to go very slow. And I'm going to bring my head into normal position by shuffling myself down with my feet. They're going to help me. I'm going to join my knees in the middle to counterbalance the pose I was in here. Now you can just go into a deep meditation or just asleep if you have time. But if you want to be awake after the session, you can just move yourself to one side, whichever side you decide is up to you. And just breathe deeper with the intention to wake up. And as you exhale, you can move yourself up. And come to seated position. And listen kindly. I'm going to chant one on three times. Shanti, you don't have to do this. If you're still on the floor, you can just listen. Feel heavy, it's okay, it's normal, okay? Just enjoy your breath. See you later.